<laughs> Someone is on a new path. Find a new path. Um... So someone either needs a new path or someone is going to be starting a new path. Uh, so someone needs to get in their own lane or stay in their own lane. Someone needs to find a new path because they're not out of this world. They're not an astronaut. Um, they're not as awesome as they think they are. So somebody needs to take a new path. You're not in your life's calling. So, ah, man, this must be for a karmic or something. <laughs> um, someone's not focused on their family. Someone needs to be more focused on their family. So you're not seen as out of this world. You need to get on your path. You need to find a new path. You're on the wrong path. Um, you couldn't run a marathon. Okay. Um, yeah, maybe you could do a sprint, but you couldn't outlast in the long haul. Man, I feel like I'm talking shit here. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> I'm not trying to be an asshole. It's just the cards, I swear. Um, somebody made a mess that they can't clean up. They're too slow. The turtle's the last word. Um... Yeah, someone tried to make a mess out of their life by taking the wrong path. This could be that copycat energy. Somebody who is trying to take over somebody else's life's calling or copy somebody else's work. Um, this person can't run a freaking marathon to save their life. They need to focus on their goddamn family because focus on the family is in the reverse. So whoever this is, they're not focused on their family. They're not focused on their kids. They're too busy trying to control a situation, puppeteer a situation. Um, it looks like this person could use a haircut as well. That's the last word on there. Someone is too busy worried about somebody else. If you didn't score a goal, <laughs> man, these cards are being harsh tonight. Damn. Oh, you need to get your ass in bed. <laughs> I cannot make this shit up. Stop fighting with someone. You're not a fucking trophy. Okay, this is in the reverse. So someone needs to go to bed. There's a sword fight and a trophy. So someone, this karmic energy, needs to get their ass to bed. Quit trying to fight with someone. You're not a fucking trophy. You're not a trophy wife. You're not a trophy husband. You're not controlling someone else's life. Get your ass to bed and go to sleep. <laughs> Damn cards for real, man. You're being me. Yeah, stop fighting with a div divine femme, divine masculine. Somebody does not want to hump you. You're not going to get through your hooks in them by humping them. They don't want to hump you. God dang, man. Someone doesn't want to hump you. Leave someone's ass alone. You're not trapping somebody up in a birdcage. You're not going to get them to marry you. Tying the knot is the third word. Someone doesn't want to be with you, man. Damn. These cars are seriously being harsh right now. Someone needs to hear this, though. But this, I feel like this is not for the Divine Femme, Divine Masculine. I mean, if you want to listen and stay tuned, by all means. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Oh, I guess I needed a good laugh. Thank you, Fox. That, this is a good one. I wasn't expecting this one, but still. Damn. You're calling someone out. These cards are calling someone out. Someone needs to get in their own fucking lane. Quit trying to be a dumbass. Quit trying to control someone else's life. Wow. <laughs> Shit, man. <laughs> Guess they wanted me to give somebody hell. I don't know. I feel like something was kind of coming out. I'll shuffle it one more time. I've gone through a lot of decks here and there. Alright, what next? What next? I guess I'll go to my Wizard of Oz. <laughs> Jeez. You're making me work too hard for this. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Mm, this is just too funny. 
Someone's trying to trap someone up. I don't know if they want, they're trying to get out of a marriage. Yeah, someone's trying to either get someone to marry them or stay locked in a marriage. They didn't score a goal. This is a karmic relationship. Someone needs to just let it go. Man, someone's not folk someone is not meant to be in a family with this divine fem or divine masculine. Um, you are with the wrong fucking person. You need to let it go because this person wants to offer flowers to someone else. So there needs to be a split here so that the divine fam or masculine can go to the person they're supposed to be with. And this has somebody scared shitless. Someone is losing their shit. They need to get their ass in bed and let it go. She's oh Pete. Someone is getting some sort of communication. This could be a message of concern or some sort of communication that has them scared. Um, let me see what the next cards say before I make my final determination on if that's a message of concern and, or um, or if you're going to be getting a message. Yeah, the time's up. This um, karmic female or masculine energy is getting a message. Um, something's over. Somebody wants to offer flowers to somebody else. Um, it's just over. It's over, boo. You're not official. I'm sorry. The time is up. This is in the reverse. It's not for you. This relationship was not meant for you. I'm sorry. I don't know what to tell you. This is a karmic relationship. You're meant to teach each other the lessons and move on. This person needs to get back with their divine counterpart. You're cock blocking. Get out the way. Let's see. Yeah, I don't know how many decks. I'm like eight minutes in and I've gone through so many decks. There was a group of people that um, were not supportive, possibly, of a relationship of a divine femme, divine masculine. But this person wants to give the offer to the person that um, has been waiting for it. Someone has been patiently or impatiently waiting for the offer that they deserve. There is a group of people, this could be friends, family, community members, that were trying to stop this union from happening. They could have tried to talk someone out of coming into union with somebody and splitting up with somebody. Um, but there's going to be celebration. This divine femme or masculine is going to make the right choice. Somebody made a really shitty decision or a bad decision, and it had them in despair. So this could be... The Divine Femme or Divine Masculine who ended up <clears throat> with the Karmic, um, they're in despair because they made the wrong choice. Um, someone is sleeping easy. Someone is resting easy because somebody knows where they're supposed to be. Somebody is in their actual life's calling. So someone is trying to copy or imitate them to hold on to somebody. And this relationship is over. I'm sorry to tell you, this it's over. Whether you're the Karmic or you're the Divine watching this, um, I don't mean to be the bearer of bad news, but this relationship is not going to go anywhere and it's going to cause you more pain the longer that you stay in it. You're not going to be resting easy. Someone is going to cause you to be juggling finances and keep you trapped in a shitty situation if you stay with them. <clears throat> you need to cut your losses and move on. So, I mean, whoever this message is for... Somebody was meant to see it. Alright, let's go to my white deck here. Yeah, once again, this is not your Ten of Cups. This is not your happiness. Somebody needs to get rid of their karmic like yesterday or the day before yesterday or I don't know. This needs to happen. This relationship needs to end so the divines can hook back up. There's a divine union here that needs to happen. <clears throat> and it's not going to happen until this relationship is officially, officially over. Am I going to get anything else out of this or not? <laughs> Yeah, someone sees you as the Queen of Cups, loving, caring, emotionally balanced, and stable. 
So somebody wants to hook up with their divine counterpart. They're just being slow about it, I guess. Someone's rushing in trying to do something. Someone's rushing in with some sort of information. So someone could be scrambling towards a queen of cups like, please don't go, please don't go. Um, and I don't mean like, don't go out of the relationship. I mean, someone's scrambling to snatch up this queen of cups before they end up getting snatched by somebody else. So someone is in the process of closing out a cycle with their karmic. Meanwhile, they're trying to rush towards their queen of cups with some sort of information. So um, maybe they're getting um, some information that somebody is going to be coming towards them, or maybe they're interested in starting to date again or something. Maybe they're not going to be single for long. Where did that card go? I know I saw one. Um, oh, okay, I see what's happening. Someone's going to come in and make some promises. I promise I'll change. I promise I'll do this. I promise I'll do that. So somebody wants to go towards their Queen of Cups, or you are the Queen of Cups. Somebody wants to rush in with some bullshit offer, um, because like I said, someone's not going to be single very much longer. So someone's rushing in. This could be someone trying to cock block. Yeah, this is someone who is heartbroken about a third party situation. But the problem is, is this karmic is the third party situation. It doesn't matter if they were married to this person. You were with this person before. This is your divine counterpart. Maybe you weren't with them before, but they're the third party because they were never supposed to be with this person to begin with. I hope that makes sense. This person does not have um, gifts or talents. This person is not talented. They're not, they cannot compare to the Queen of Cups. I'm sorry, um, but someone's rushing in with some sort of bullshit, begging and pleading. I'm seeing a please, please, please take me back. Please take me back because they know someone's going towards their Queen of Cups. <clears throat> And we have the Queen of Wands here, someone who is upright, someone who is seen as the leader. Um, protective, caring, empathetic. So this could be a masculine and his feminine energy as well. And someone is trying to stop this person from making an offer to the Queen of Cups. So this could be two feminines. I mean, I don't, I'm going to say I don't have too many same-sex female readings here, but... Um, you could be, um, in the queen of cups and there could be a masculine in their queen of wands energy who wants to come towards someone and someone's rushing in, um, with some sort of offer or rushing with some sort of offer, pretending to have gifts and talents, trying to beg and plead this person, um, not to go because they're seen as a leader and they know that they're going to be traveling towards this queen of cups for some sort of reconciliation or a new relationship. Take it how it resonates. But somebody is on the wrong path. So, yeah, somebody's trying to stop someone from making a decision. Someone's at a crossroads here. Someone was at a crossroads with this karmic and with this queen of cups. And there's going to be, they're going to choose their two of cups. I'm sorry. I'm, I don't know what to tell you, boo. You're in the wrong lane. Stop trying to control a fucking situation. You need to go to bed, leave this person alone. They don't want to be with you. Someone is going to be coming forward with some sort of information. Someone is going to give you some information, um, to a star, a divine star, someone who actually has gifts and talents, someone who is on their correct path. Somebody wants to hook up with their divine counterpart, and that is the star. And I'm sorry to burst your bubble, but it's not you. And then here's the King of Cups here. So the King of Cups is going to choose their Queen of Cups. This Queen of Wands. Ah, now I see what's going on here. So the Queen of Wands is actually not an upright Queen of Wands. She's actually in the reverse because she was trying to imitate the Queen of Cups. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. But this King of Cups still has, um, you know, for the most part, the rest of it was still correct. There is someone who has a choice to make. Someone is at a crossroads. That is this King of Cups here. 
and someone is going to be letting the star know that they want to hook up with them. And this um, Queen of Wands, um, and so it's not that they're, um... okay, so here's where it's getting funky. So when you have reversals and upright cards, it could be karmic energy, or the way I read it, or it could be past and present energy. This is present or future energy. So even though the Queen of Wands came out in the upright, she's still a karmic because she's not this person's divine counterpart. The King and Queen of Cups belong together. This Queen of Wands could possibly be with this King of Cups now. This Queen of Wands was trying to be a leader like this Queen of Cups is because this Queen of Cups does things from a heart space of love. So this Queen of Wands came in with this shitty rushing in with this bullshit offer to this King of Cups to try to stop the King of Cups from going towards this Queen of Cups. But he's going to come towards the Queen of Cups with some sort of information, possibly that he still has feelings for her or he does have feelings for her. But the Queen of Cups is his divine counterpart and is the star. That took a second. I told you I was tired. <laughs> I wasn't trying to do this one. Yeah, I told you. Okay, now I'm on the right path here. Yep, the Ace of Cups. We have a new love offer coming. The King of Cups is going back to his divine counterpart or going towards his divine counterpart, whether they've been together in the past or not. I feel like they have been. I feel like this is... Um, it's been coming out. That's just the energy. Don't get mad at me. I, I was just reading the cards, man. Yeah. Okay, so this King of Cups has to get over dealing with this Empress in the reverse. This person was not loving and caring. <coughs> this is the Queen of Wands here. <clears throat> Someone who wishes they were the Queen of Cups, but they're not. They're in the reverse. They're not loving. They're not caring. They're not empathetic. They were not this person's, you know, meant to be. This is not this person's soulmate. This person is going to heal from this heartbreak or has healed from this heartbreak because this person was not held in high honor and they were trying to keep this person bound to a situation. So this Queen of Wands was trying to keep this King of Cups bound and just bound and bound to a situation with them instead of letting them free so they can go towards their divine counterpart, which is the Queen of Cups. So someone's trying to keep someone trapped in a shitty situation, but ultimately the King of Cups is going to choose their divine counterpart. It's just taking them a slow ass time to get there because there's so many people who are telling this person not to do this. There's a lot of conflict going on because of this um, union. This King of Cups could have actually married this Queen of Wands. So they may be having to go through a divorce. There, there may be people trying to stop this from happening. Um, they're trying to convince this person to stay with this person. So say this King of Cups has been married a couple times. Okay. Say maybe this is like his second, third wife, whatever. His ass is supposed to be going back to wife number one. I'm just using this as an example, but this is how it's being laid out. Whoever this King of Cups is, he's supposed to go back to the person he was meant to be with from the beginning. I hope y'all are following me. I told you I'm tired. Yeah. Somebody made an offer. Somebody gave their flowers to someone else because someone rushed in with some lies or misused some sort of information. Um, they twisted the tail. They acted like they were something that they weren't. They rushed in and they were like, well, I, I don't want to say rushed in, but um, they traveled towards this person um, and made them think that they were their counterpart when in fact they were not. And so this person offered them flowers. Now they look like a fool because now they're seeing that you are the, you know, the official person. You're the, you're the person they're supposed to be with. Um, and this karmic, someone's not moving on to calmer waters. There's a lot of emotions and chaos going on in this mess. 
Yeah. Because you are seen as someone who is held in high honor. You're the queen of swords as well. You tell the truth. And someone has um, feelings. They're all up in their emotions. Uh, because something is ending and they're sad and in despair. Yep, somebody wants to give you a gift. The Ace of Wands. Something that was taken from you is going to be returned to you. And that could be that phallic. That could be that dick. Um, if you were married to this person... Technically, if you were the first wife, it, I don't know if you want to get biblical and shit, it belongs to you. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just saying. Or husband, whatever. Uh, somebody could be getting kicked out of a house or this karma could have gotten kicked out of a house. Someone will get their Ten of Pentacles, their financial security once they kick this person out and end up with their divine counterpart, the person they're supposed to be with. Someone could be protecting their financial stability at this moment. Um, but this karmic is not going to have a new start, a new beginning. They're not getting the Ace of Pentacles. Um, if they thought that they could take some sort of Ace of Pentacles from a house, this karmic energy is not going to get it. They're not moving on to calmer waters. They're wasting their time. They're not going to take this house from this masculine. This karmic energy is trying to take a house from a masculine, get him ki getting him kicked out of his own house, and take it. Man, this is fucking crazy. This karmic is trying to take this masculine's house, and it's not even hers. This masculine had this house before he even got with this female. That's just what it is. Someone needs to stop wasting their time. This person scammed this masculine by pretending to be someone she wasn't. Um, someone is anxious, whether it's this masculine or this karmic energy. Someone is anxious. Could be this masculine being anxious to come towards you. Somebody owes somebody money. So, <clears throat> this karmic, um, somebody could owe somebody money. This could be the masculine that owes the divine them, the divine masculine money. Um... I don't know. There's a lot of stuff going on here. I'm tired. <laughs> I was not going to do this. The fox made me do it. <laughs> someone is too blessed to be stressed and someone does not apologize. I never apologize. So, um, the divine femme or masculine, you're too blessed to be stressed. You're not worried. You're minding your own business. Meanwhile, all hell's breaking loose with your divine counterpart and the karmic shit they've got going on. Um, yeah. Unless you guys are mirroring each other, you both could be going through the shit at the same time. But I feel like at least one of you is free because this person feels like there's a chance to come back towards you. I mean, if, if they feel like there's a choice, then you're not connected to anybody. Somebody had a sex addiction. So there's somebody who had a sex addiction and they're not sorry for it. They just make up excuses for it or hide it or lie. Somebody could want to punch you. Ooh, I would punch you. So someone wants to fight you because they make... Maybe you don't know this person's contemplating coming towards you, but this karmic does. And this bitch is ready to fight, whether it's male or female. This bitch is wanting to fight. But they're full of air. They're, they're a bag of chips that's full of air. Um, they're all barking, no bite. They're not going to hurt you. <clears throat> if they come towards you, I feel like you're going to beat their ass anyway, so... I don't think you're worried. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> no joke. Someone listened to rumors. That was in the reverse. So somebody listened to rumors. Um, so like I said, there were there was a group of people, like maybe their friends, they were trying to convince this person to stay in a karmic relationship. So maybe somebody stayed in a relationship longer than they should have. Yeah, this person's being spiteful because they lost their spiritual gifts. 
This was a false twin flame. I don't know how many times I have to say it. Someone could be being controlled by spirits. This masculine was set up. I mean, and I don't mean to like be unalived or anything, but it was a setup to end up in this relationship. Somebody could have gotten pregnant or something. This person does not have the Watt Big Package energy. This is the false twin flame. Um, this person... The sex was bad. And this person um, liked that good sex. That's why they cheated as well. So I don't know. I don't want to get too much into that aspect of it. It's a karmic relationship. And it's not going to last. It's breaking up. So um, yeah, it doesn't really matter. Something could be happening by June or June could be significant. That could be somebody's birthday, the day or, or the month of an event. else so I will check these Sagittarius could be significant <clears throat> or Sagittarius season could be significant November 22nd through December 21st so um, that's now we're in Sag we're at we're in Sagittarius season so something could be happening now or soon and then we have a Leo and that's July 23rd through August 22nd. So there's something significant about June, Sagittarius season, and a Leo. Wow. There's something definitely going on in the summertime here because then we had July. The birds of a feather flock together. So there's a group here that's opening up a whole can of worms because this person, team player, wants to team up with the, their divine counterpart. Oh, someone is under judgment for something that happened around noontime. Someone is spinning their wheels, and this person, a karmic energy, is not a good, kind soul. So this could be this uh, masculine energy that's spinning their wheels, um, dealing with this person who is not a good, kind soul. This is like the that Queen of Wands. This King of Cups wants to go towards this Queen of Cups, and I'm running out of time, so I'm just going to go ahead and pull some letters. Letter T could be significant, person, place, or thing. U. P. Put it in already. It's already in. Oh my god! <laughs> I don't know where the fuck that came from. Oh... Maybe it's that Britney Spears thing. Justin Timberlake. E. Shit. Mmm. <laughs> Someone could use, stand to lose a few pounds. Oh. Um. Don't get mad at me. I'm just reading the downloads. L. Put Leo. Mmm. I wasn't expecting that. So, yeah. P-U-T-L-E-O, and then I have N. Leon could be significant. O, put Leo, no. <laughs> N, non. U, again. Put Leo non you. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it there. I hope this helps folks. Have a good night.